first look at the Pixel 4 XL ROM based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video, we're going to have our first look at the Google Pixel 4 XL ROM based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. How do you install this ROM? I have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of the video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. A question which I will get is how is this ROM different from the Pixel 4 ROM or from Pixel Experience? For that all you have to do is read the pinned comment. It is going to tell you how this ROM is different. Which ROM should you install? That is again a personal preference. Use whatever floats your boat and whatever you like. So this is how Pixel 4 XL ROM comes out of the box. You do have Pixel Launcher in the building and if you swipe you do have your Google News Feed. And you do have cool animations and as you can see we do have the new Google Assistant with continued conversations in the building. The new Google Assistant works like a boss. However, the first thing you need to do when you install this ROM is to make sure you sign into the Play Store and update all the applications because you will get a few important app updates. Next thing you need to do is you'll go into settings and then you will go into apps and notifications, go into advanced, default apps, and make sure you set the caller ID and spam application as the phone application. These are the things which you need to do as soon as you install the ROM. Another very important thing I would like to add is that software does not add hardware features. So no 90 hertz display, no motion sense, no squeeze feature and of course no face unlock. Those things out of the way, this is how the ROM comes. These are all the applications which come baked into the ROM. I have not installed any other application and you do have the new Google recorder. You do have podcasts, you do have the new safety application wherein you can add your emergency contact information if you want to and you do have Pixel tips baked in if you want to know more about your Pixel 4 XL ROM running on the Poco F1. A thing which is missing is a Google camera application. However, I have linked Gcam ports which are working like a boss on this build in the pinned comment. You can use whichever one you feel like using. We can now go into settings and check out the important features. So you do have apps and notifications in that go into assistant and make sure you have enabled continued conversation for the new generation Google assistant. Then in battery you do have adaptive battery in the building works absolutely fine. And if you like battery percentage you can enable the toggle for that as well. Going into display we'll click on advanced. You do have brightness level adaptive brightness works absolutely fine. In styles and wallpapers, you can use the baked in themes which come from Google directly, or if you want to customize your theme setup by choosing different fonts and the different icon setups which are available, different accent colors, the icon shape which you prefer, you can do that as well. And once you are happy with your setup, all you need to do is give it a name and then click on apply, and bam, there it is. We do have the theme which we just configured working like a boss in styles and wallpapers you do have different wallpapers so if you go into come alive these are the different wallpapers which come baked in however whatever live wallpaper you want you just tap on it and just click on download so let's try my friend mr pokemon sidekick and once the download has finished successfully if you want it to allow access to location click on continue and then click on set wallpaper home screen and bam, there it is, my friend Pokemon in the building, working like a boss. Going back into settings and display, you do have system-wide Android 10 dark theme, and you also have screen attention, wherein your display won't go to sleep if you're looking at it, and this feature works absolutely fine. Smooth display is about 90 hertz, but as I mentioned earlier, we do not have the hardware for that, so the developer has disabled the toggle for it. Going into lock screen display, you do have now playing but it's not working. I did try to get it working but didn't work out for me. And ambient display is also not working on this build. As for double tap to wake, that is also broken right now but I am pretty sure the developers are going to fix that down the line. Do note 
this is the first build of this pixel 4 xl rom for the poco f1 so do expect some bugs going into sound we do have vibrate for calls and bam there it is we also have live caption in the building make sure you enable it click on got it and what this will do is if you're playing any video on youtube or any other application which is in english it is going to add a live caption on the video itself you can also enable and disable this from the volume panel so here it is live caption is now disabled and now it is enabled we can also try this out so we'll go into the youtube application and we'll try playing a video to see whether live caption is working or not no i do not want youtube music for free and let's try to play this video and bam there it is live caption is working like a boss if you press and hold you can move around the live caption pop up anywhere you want to so as you can see live caption is also working absolutely fine other than that in display there is nothing much to talk about next up we have privacy in privacy you can set your content which you want to see on the lock screen whether you want to see the password as you type it or not and you also have permission manager here in you can control permissions for all the options which you see over here so for camera it is allowed access to messages phone and settings and denied to all the options below that similarly for location you'll have three options right so you'll have allowed all the time which is for google maps then you have allowed only while in use and denied if you want to switch you can tap on the application and say deny deny anyway and now chrome will not have access to the location for maps you can choose between three options allow all the time allow only while using the app or deny in which case allowed all the time has no app right now and then allowed only while in use has android auto google and maps then we have location it's the same option which we talked about right now you do have a master toggle for turning on and off location in security you do have fingerprint scanner working face unlock does not work don't even expect it to work for now you do have digital well-being in the building along with your focus mode baked in if you go into system you do have the different kind of gestures so you do have two gesture options the one which i'm using right now the gesture navigation and you also have three button navigation which is your old school gesture of home back and the recents button other than that in system we do have the option for motion sense but remember we do not have the hardware for motion sense so there's no point in enabling it and expecting it to work and if you have enabled developer options you will have the option for display cutout but do note that you do not have an option to hide the notch so here it is display cutout and developer options and if i select that i have the device default option the corner cutout the double cutout and the tall cutout so you do not have an option to hide the notch other than that nothing much to talk about in system and as you did see while i was typing our google keyboard was also themed with the accent color which we had set up while setting up the theme as for the benchmark scores here are the benchmark scores which i got on this build and as i always say benchmark scores are never a true reflection of performance of a rom you have to use it and then figure it out how it works for you as for the animations and smoothness you can see them very clearly that there is no lag or jitter in the animations which means the rom is smooth and i have had no random lags random reboots which means from my perspective the rom is pretty stable as well it does have a few bugs but expect them to be ironed out in the future builds and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you